I'm Alana Rocha for the Texas Tribune. Despite the House and Senate gaveling in late Sunday, backhaul negotiations on school finance did not materialize into a deal in time for the chambers to take any action on that special session priority. The same went for property tax reform and how the state can help retired teachers in Texas pay for health care or where that financial aid should come from. The chambers did advance a couple of other measures that address pregnant women. Members, the House will come to order. Perhaps nobody else cares about the number of women that are dying a year within childbirth, but I care, and I would like to know more about this bill. That was State Representative Sarah Davis scolding members of the House who were talking as the floor debate began for Senate Bill 17, which would extend the work of a task force studying maternal mortality in Texas. The Senate also gave initial approval to House Bill 215, which would subject doctors performing abortions on minors to report more information to the state. The Senate accepted the changes House lawmakers made on Senate Bill 6, which allows Texans to vote on whether cities in large counties can annex their land outside of city limits. SB 6 is on its way to Governor Greg Abbott, meaning he has now received bills for six of the 20 items on his agenda. And State Senator Judith Zaffarini was recognized for casting her 60,000th vote in a row in the Senate. The Laredo Democrat has served in the Senate for 30 years. For all of the latest from the Capitol in these final days of the special session, visit us online at texastribune.org. I'm Alana Rocha in Austin.